for you to use the plagiarism checker you have to upgrade to a given premium version okay of the killboard if you have a premium version then you could be able to use the killboard plagiarism checker to scan your document for unintentional plagiarisms across billions of articles or sources that we have okay so once you subscribe to any of the plans you'll be able to do that by just submitting the document and it's going to analyze and give you any kind of plagiarism and their sources take a look at this example and you can see it's going to be real-time report and analysis it's going to give you exactly the sources and what and what you've copied or where you copied those source uh, those uh, content from so this is for plagiarism checker you have to upgrade to have access to it and it's very easy to use next we have the co-writer now the co-writer is a feature that i always like especially for researchers scientists or professionals if you want to write an essay or a blog post or any kind of journal paper you can do it effectively and more accurately even in a very easy format using this co-writer so you can start from you can see available documents that you have worked on you can find them over here and you can create a folder a given folder where you can save all your write-ups on maybe you can have your introduction in the same folder uh, your main content in the same folder and you can have uh, references in this in, the, in a separate folder for all of them are in a separate file all of them located in the same folder you can create a folder for a given project for example you can say create a folder and you can see journal paper writing and you can just go ahead and say under this folder you can now open and you can create a project from here or you can use from templates or you can upload any document that you are working on maybe on your microsoft word you have worked you have worked on a particular document and you want to bring it up here to continue working on it to continue your research over here you can bring it easily and you can have your, the option to select what kind of content you are writing is it a blog post is it an essay or is it a research paper like i've had highlighted so this is very easy when you you can just go ahead and select so assume we are going for an essay and you can see over here let's say we are going with a blank project so once you click on brand project, you'll be brought into this and you have a series of options, especially the editing features, the text editing features. You could do all sort of things from here, from mathematics to font sizes, different kind of font sizes to paragraphing, different kind of paragraphs. You could bold, italize, underline and all these coloration features and adjustment okay you can adjust left, right, center. You could see the bullet points. You can play around with basically all the what features that you are that are available you can find them over here as well you can import images from sources from your computer from links you can easily add and bring in links you can have equations multiple equations and objects you could link link websites website or urls directly and you could write different kind of text and download things or export in different formats but the first thing i usually advise people to do is to create a project name for example i can say can call this flood mitigation now the most interesting part of it is you can come to the research over here to the right okay so once you click on research you're going to have this search bar okay search tab over here search bar you can search anything okay for example i can say flood mitigation i want to search something on flood mitigation and you could make it industrial or you can make it non-academic or if you want it to be academic solemnly academic you can make it academic by just enabling this feature okay but I'm, at this point i don't want it to be academic i just want it to be a normal search and i can just click on enter and you can see within killbot it brought in this kind of web results you can see different kind of results you can just read flood mitigation assistant grant program flood mitigation in general uh, flood mitigation you can see multiple searches that at any given point if you want to see or you want to get content you can just go ahead and say get content and you can see that this is the, the definition of um, flood mitigation okay a hazard mitigation there about you can go ahead and click on this to view the full article if you want to view the full article and you can see the entire article over here okay you can check out helpful resources and you can see this is the entire entire article and if you want to see highlights which is usually my area you can click over here and be able to see the articles arranged in highlights okay you can see hazard mitigation you can click you can see hazard mitigation you click you can see structural mitigation you can see non-structural mitigation you can see how they are being arranged individually 
Now in Chillboard, if you want to add this text or content to your text, all you need is to specify the area where you want it to be added and come over here. Once you select and highlight a text, you have the option to insert it in the text directly, or you have the option to paraphrase if you want to paraphrase this section that you've just highlighted, or you have the option to summarize the text. Okay. So assuming I want to add this entire text, you can see I just added it with just one click and everything is now added. You can see all the things that I've just highlighted have been added to my document. And one good side of this killbot or the co-writer co is that it puts in the, the citation over here and you can see the bibliography references. You can see it has put in the references down here. I need to put all the references that you're working on you to cite it and then you to put it in the bibliography or reference list. Okay, so you can just check around. This is the full article. This is the, these are the highlights. You can check out the keywords. If you want to check out the keywords, you can see keywords and you can go ahead and make some searches around them. You can see full article. You can just select any section of it and you can add it directly into your document or you can select any section. Okay, you can select all this section and say paraphrase or and say summarize or you can say summarize this and it's going to summarize it directly for you. You can indicate the length, summary length, whether to make it short or to make it longer. You can vary those options from here and you can see right now it's been summarized. Everything that we've highlighted have been summarized into this much words. So you just select, you just, as you select, you can just say insert and it's going to insert it into your document just like so. And you can see it has added the references directly. Okay, so you can close here and you can come down to the same research. You can see the next thing is if you could search everything over here, you can go ahead and check out the notes. Here in notes, you can put in your own personal notes that you can always refer to aid you in writing this paper. For example, you have covered the introduction and you have the main body and you can have references and maybe you have some conclusions at the point you can itemize and arrange your paper content or sub content uh, headings and subheadings from here okay so you can know exactly where we are working on now the next part to this call writer is the citation okay citation is a very good feature that you can use within the co, co writer because it helps you to write citations easily you can create a citation directly from here by just clicking on this and you could insert the URL if you are dealing with a website, if you've just worked on a website, like for example, we have worked on this website and I want to cite this, I can just copy and come back to this and just paste it. Okay, you can just paste the link and you can say cite and it's going to generate the citation for you to insert in your document. And you can see it has just generated the citation. Okay, you can say save citation you can see it has just generated it for you and you can change it um, depending you can insert the citation from here you can see it has generated you can say insert citation and it's going to insert it from wherever your work is wherever your work is that's where it's going to insert that citation so for example you can create the citation from well, this is from a website if it's from a book it's a different thing if it's a journal it's a different thing okay so if it's a journal article you see what you are just going to search it's just the name of the, tot uh, the journal or a, the DOI. You can just go come over and copy the DOI and just go and paste it over there. So for example, this one, you can just copy the DOI and you can take it back to that journal, that um, citation box and just paste it and say search. And it's going to bring out that journal. And you can see it has just brought in the journal. So you can say cite. If you want to cite it here, you can, you can just go ahead and say cite. Or if you want to cite it somewhere here within the document, you can just say site and it's going to add it at that exact location okay so you can see it over here you can just say insert and it's going to insert it for you over here it has just inserted directly you can see the reference and then when you go back to the list of the reference you can see it also it has been inserted okay you can see it down here it's been inserted so that's the beauty of this you can use it to write anything you can use it for your note taking and you can use it to do a bunch of research from here and in cases when you want to make it solemnly academic, you can just enable this and all your searches are going to be academic search. Okay, it's going to be specifically academic search and you can cite directly from here and it's going to go directly to make it specifically academic. So all what you are going to see is academic search. And you can explore 
to go outside of Killboard to do many more things within from the Killboard. Okay, you can explore and from here you can take in, go to other sites and do all sort of uh, addition and subtraction and do all sort of research also outside of Killboard. So ladies and gentlemen, I think that does it for this tutorial. How to use the co-writer in Killboard as an avenue for you to conduct an effective research and to do all sort of um, writing capabilities and insert document and do all in one things within a particular document. Just to mention that you have other options at the down here, such as paraphrasing, summarizing and suggesting of text. And you can check out the word counts as well from here. And you can see errors, okay, grammatical errors. And you can uh, see, you can easily dictate if you want to dictate directly or you can read, you can ask, to, you can listen to a reader that can read the entire content for you. Okay, so you can see the error report over here if you want to see overall score. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.